So as we mentioned, a relation is an equivalence relation if it's satisfying the three conditions. Equivalence relation. is a relation which is reflexive, symmetric, and also transitive. Recall that we talked about a partition. We're going to use a partition and show that we can induce a relation which is an equivalence relation. Recall that. A partition of a set like A is a collection of non-empty, mutually disjoint subsets non-empty and mutually disjoint subsets like A sub I's such that the union of these subsets is equal to set A itself. So this was the definition of partition. Remember that we had a set like A, and then we could divide this set A into smaller partitions. It helps us to analyze the properties of the set a little bit easier. So this is A1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and so on. Now, we have a definition. This definition says, suppose you have a partition. Given a partition of set A, a relation induced by the partition like R is defined on N as follow. We say that for all x and y's in set A, x is in relation with y if and only if there is a subset like A sub i, one of these partitions, such that both X and Y are members of that subset. So given a partition for set A, a relation can be induced by this partition. We're going to call this relation R and we're going to define this relation as follows. We say that, hey, X and Y are related together if and only if you have a subset, A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, one of them, such that both X and Y are members of this exact partition. Well, it happens that 
the partition induce a relation. This relation R is going to be reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So let's write down this theorem here. This relation R is an equivalence relation. So keep that in mind, you have an equivalence relation. This relation is induced by the partition. Look over one example to feel more comfortable about what's going on here. Example. Suppose I give you a set like A as follows. I have zero, one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to give you a partition as follows. Partition with the following subsets. The very first one is zero, three, four. The second one is one. And the third one is two. It is a partition for this set. Why is that? If you just graph that set A, this is my set A, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The very first partition, 0, 3, 4. The second one is 1, and the third one is 2. They are non-empty. This is A1, this is A2, and this is A3. They are all non-empty. They are disjoint. They have nothing in common. And their union is equal to set A. Now, our goal is to find the relation induced by this partition. How do I do that? Guys, remember that. When we are talking about a relation, we're talking about a collection of ordered pairs. Very good. Remember how we defined the ordered pairs? We say that X is related to Y if and only if they belong to one partition. So take a look. Zero is related to, zero is related to three. Zero is related to four. That's obvious. Three is related to zero. Four is related to Zero. Three is related to four. Four is related to three. They are all in the same partition. But zero is not related to one. One is not related to zero. Zero is not related to two. Two is not related to zero and so on. One is related to one. Two is related to two. Well, what else do we have? Can I say that four is related to itself? Of course, they are both in the same partition. Zero is related to zero, four is related to four, three is related to three. So now let us form our relation. Our relation R is equal to. I'm going to list all of these numbers. 0, 0. We have 0, 3. We have 0, 4. We have 3, 0. We have 4, 0. We have 3, 4. We have 4, 3. We have, let's see, 1 and 1, 20. So this is the relation 
induced by this partition. This is the relation induced by, generated by partition given here. Zero, three, four, one, and two. We defined a relation. Let me see, I forgot three and three and four and four. Yeah, don't forget to add those as well. Three and three and four and four. Where were they? Oh, here. I forgot this two. Three and three, four and four. Here we go. Otherwise, it's not going to be a reflexive relation. We need to make sure the relation is also equivalence relation. It means that it's reflexive, it's symmetric, and it is transitive. So don't forget to add three and three, four and four. 